welcome to the Clarity Room for a Clarity Chat. Yes, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about manifesting because it's a hot topic. A lot of people talk about it all the time. And I want to kind of talk about this idea of when we have a desire or something that we're working towards, right? But when you think about it, it kind of spir spirals you. That's a tr tough word for me. Spirals you kind of out and pops you out to the other opposite direction of what you truly are desiring. We all have those moments. So this is really important to take a look at why this happens, what it means, and what you can do about it. So um, I'm going to give you an example of my own because it's one that just popped up for me last week and I'm really excited about it. So uh, I've had um, a vision or a dream for myself. It's a large one. And um, I've been dreaming about this for, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And um, I remember the first time when I had learned, ah, who knows how long ago, about writing down what your desires are, or your goals, or your manifestations, whatever word you use. And I remember taking the time to write it down, and then I was like, okay, i got to think about it every day. I've got to put focus in on it. I've got to, you know, keep pushing it forward. And, and you know, as, as time has gone on, we've all realized that the number one thing that you have to remember with any desire that you have is how do you feel about it when you think about it in this now moment? How do you feel about it when you think about it in this now moment? And this one particular one that I had, when I would write about it, when I would think about it, what was happening was is I was actually pushing it farther away from me because my feelings about it spiraled me out. I didn't feel good about it because I didn't believe it could happen. Some people say, oh, you got to you know, write it down, fake it till you make it. There is levels of that, I think, in, in anything that we're working towards, right? But if this is a thing that you're desiring, and when you think about it, you're like, well, how can that happen if I don't have the finances for it? Or how can I have that when I've got this situation going on in my life? And then all of a sudden you think about that desire and it feels icky. It feels, in fact, it feels like it's so far out of reach is depressing me like this is never gonna happen and you can you can quickly spin down the emotional alchemy list of emotions right really quickly with that so finally in my wiseness that finally appeared years ago I decided I'm just putting it aside I'm, you know I'm just I'm not even think about it. I'm not writing about it I'm not putting any attention on it because it is serving me no good at all now, some people would think, oh, that would be kind of depressing. It's not depressing. It was re it was a relief for me. It's like it just isn't in the cards right now, and I don't have to play with this anymore. So I did that. I set it aside, put it on the shelf, as they say. And the other day, it hit me. Last week, it hit me as I was walking around my house because it is something for my house, and I was thinking, hmm, oh, my gosh. That thing that I really wanted, it all of a sudden – became so real for me I got so excited and it was like this is on its way I can feel it now I'm in such a different mindset than I used to be of course right we're always growing and evolving if we choose so I got so excited I started texting everybody it's like oh my gosh this dream of what I've desired and wanted in my home is I can feel it. It's coming. It's around the corner. And all I'm going to do now is just spend time so excited about what it's going to look like and how it feels. And um, actually, it's it's something that will give me such... Um, uh, I, I, I know I use the word clarity a lot, hence why I call my office and these the clarity chats. It's It's like... There will be such clarity when this all happens because it is, um, ah, it's peaceful and it's tranquil for myself when I think about it. And that's when you know a desire or a dream is really close. It's because I don't have any expectations on it. I really don't care when it happens. Um, I have no fear of how I'm going to pay for it. I have no... Um, there's, there's nothing there but pure divine bliss, freedom, and happiness when I think about it now. And that is exciting because 
if you have anything that you have been working towards or desiring or manifesting, right, working on that toward yourself, and it's something that in the past spun you out and all of a sudden you're thinking about it and all of a sudden it spins you in the other direction of like, oh my gosh, this is happening. No, it's on its way. Know that it's so close that, that um, you can just start planning for it to happen, like getting excited about it, researching it, looking into it, because it's only going to amp it up now. So that's kind of a really big difference when it comes to what you're creating in your life, what you want, what you're desiring, and how you bring it about. So if it's something spins you out, set it aside. You're not ready. It's not ready. It's not going to happen right now. And the more you spend in something that's spinning you out, the farther you're pushing it away. I laugh at it because had um, had I been able to focus on um, certain things in my life sooner, eh, I would have came so much faster. But that doesn't matter. I'm enjoying my in the moment now manifestations because um, I also recognize that when I am going in the opposite direction of something I want, I need to pause and come back into the space of everything that's around me was once something I desired and that I wanted. And I have to remember every single day of my life I am manifesting things. I'm bringing people, experiences, weather, um, animals, critters, friendships, and things into my life. Every single day I am manifesting. So sometimes they may feel really big, that's okay, and then come down to the finite and give appreciation and gratitude towards, you know, that that beautiful angel right there. Oh my gosh, when I saw her, I fell in love with her. Um, or the salt lamps I have in my room. I started off with one and I loved them, and now I have like six in here. I have to learn to appreciate what I have, and I think that's always a great place to start. So if you feel like you're spiraling, pop it out and go back into your present moment, looking at something that you really desired and how you brought it into your life. Start there, be in that appreciation space. I hope that gives you some clarity today. Sending you many blessings, many love, many hugs and loves. Okay, talk to you soon.